Welcome back. So now that we've completed those management tasks to prepare for deployment, what we're going to do here is deploy a Windows Server 2019 VM that will function as the management server for our Azure AD domain services. We are going to deploy this VM onto the AADDS management subnet of the Azure AD domain services VNet that was deployed earlier on. So to kick this off, we'll go up to the hamburger here and we'll create a resource. From here, we can browse to compute and then we can select Windows Server 2019 data center down here at the bottom. Now you could also search for it here as well, but we'll select it from our featured list. And now we're not gonna go through every single option here. This isn't a course on deploying a VM. So we're not gonna get into every uh, single bit of detail here. I do get into this level of detail in uh, some of my other courses, uh, but for this one, we're just gonna kind of skirt through it uh, to get this machine deployed. So what we'll do is deploy into the Burks Bikes LLC subscription, which is where everything's been deployed. And then we're going to deploy into the WVD lab and we'll call this management server. We'll deploy into East US. We don't need any redundancy. I think this standard DS2 V2 size is sufficient for what we want. Uh, it is a two processor, seven gig machine. I noticed that if I go smaller, uh, it's very difficult to navigate within the VM. So this is a little expensive to run. So I wouldn't recommend running this all the time. Just use it when you need it and then shut it off. Now down here, we need to provide a local admin account for the machine. So we'll go ahead and do that here. We'll leave 3389 open. Microsoft's gonna tell us this is bad practice, and it is, we're opening uh, RDP to the internet, but this is a lab, so this machine will not be on all the time, so I'm not too worried about it. So we'll leave 3389 open. We'll go through to disks. What I typically do here is set this to standard HDD. Uh, it's a cheaper OS disk type, and I don't need uh, high performance SSD for uh, a basic management server, especially in a lab. So we'll set this to standard HDD. And then what we'll do here is we'll click through to networking and we can see we're going to deploy to the AADDS VNet, but instead of deploying to the subnet that contains our domain controllers for the Azure AD domain services, we're going to deploy to the management subnet that we created earlier. And what we'll do is we'll let Azure here create a public IP for us, leave the rest of this default, go through to management. We can leave these options all at their default state as well. We don't need anything in advanced. We don't need anything in tags, so we'll review and create. Now, although the validation passes, Microsoft is telling us again that we have RDP open to the internet and that this is only recommended for testing, which is what we're doing here. So we'll keep that in mind that you really don't wanna leave this VM on for long periods of time because you're just opening yourself up to getting hacked. At this point, we can review our settings and from here we can create the VM. Now this deployment takes probably five or 10 minutes, maybe not even that long. Now, once this VM is deployed, we'll do some basic OS configuration and then we'll actually join the uh, VM to the Azure AD domain services. And we can see the deployment is now complete. So we'll go to our resource here. We can see that the VM is running. So let's go ahead and connect to him via RDP. Now we're going to log in to this virtual machine with the local admin account that we created during the deployment of the uh, VM itself. And for me, it's the VM admin account you saw me create. And I'm just doing this off screen here. I have two screens running. There we go. So now we're logging into this management VM using the local admin account. And then from here, we'll allow it to browse. And at this point, we are ready to configure this management server. So let's take a break now and I'll see you in the next lesson.